Hey, hi, and hello everyone. I'm the Sneaky Stamp, and today I have a how to on how to use Google Maps. So let's get right into this. The first step you need to do is actually get on Google Maps. As you can see here, I'm already on it, but here's a little t mini tutorial inside a tutorial on how to get to Google Maps. First, you have to f uh, open up a new web browser. You can't do it on the same one that you want your actual information on. Go on Google, highlight and copy google.com, google.com, google.com and then click on the first link. Now after this you're going to see a maps in the top bar. Click on that maps and then X this window out and then you'll have the actual more refined Google Maps. So now whenever you're using Google Maps you have to have a point A and a point B. Click on get directions and you can come here. Now for the sake of let's say the common way of tra traveling we're going to get the choose the transportation of bicycling because that is the most common so point A let's just choose somewhere from Virginia on here let's say we're from Palmyra and then you just simply type it in there get your point and point B let's choose a real tourist hotspot Glassford Illinois 389 and there we go or let's just remove the 389 Glassford, Illinois 389 stand up and now we have the route oh it says bikes bicycling directions are in beta use caution or right, we'll use caution and now it says there's two possible routes you can do the longer route or the shorter route most people tend to check out the scenery a bit so we'll switch to the longer route suggested route and here's all the steps head west turn right into US 15 and as you go down and down and down you guys may think that around what's the final number of steps you guys may think that 587 steps may seem like a long time and I mean look at the miles you have to travel 90, 964 miles and 84 hours you may think that wow we have to stop in between and I said and I would I would suggest just going the straight 84 hours of straight bicycling if you want the most effective result but for this video I'm also going to show you how to effectively book a hotel or not book because I'm not actually attending Glassford, Illinois 389 stand up at this moment but let's just say you want to stop midway at Toledo Toledo so you're going to want to open another page go on Google same step as before click the first link and then you're going to I want to go on hotels.com first link and I don't know what happened let's just try and redo this hotels.com click on the first link there we go now you have the destination hotel landmark but this is just the beta of the page you actually need to copy and paste the hotels.com and oops and you need to paste the actual URL into the thing. Click on the link again so you can get the actual hotels.com. And your destination, we said we're going to stop midway at Toledo, Ohio. There we go. Check in. Let's just make up a date. Uh, let's do the 20th just to make it look like we're going to attend the hotel a day before the world supposedly ends. And if it does end, then I want to thank you guys for watching my videos. It's been a real ride, and I just feel proud to have 39 subs, you know? Thanks, man. And then you click on the hotel, whichever you want, and just select your select your preferences, you know? This says it has 4.4 out of 5, and it's excellent. I would choose this one if I was going on a bike ride to Glassford. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope that whenever you use Google Maps, you use my technique, and yeah, yeah, I guess, um, yeah, and heads up, if I do get 40 subs, I will be making a 40 subscriber video special, I don't know when that will be, but just keep your eyes out for that, thanks for watching.